Solana is about to go ducking crazy in 2024. Maybe it is time to wake up and really start paying attention. What the heck this network is doing? What is happening on Solana? You know, I was speaking with Solana Bull Raul Pal a few months ago, and it really became apparent to me that Solana still has many major and influential investors betting on a bright future for the network. Now, to be clear, I don't currently own like more than like a couple Solana. Maybe they'll change in the future and invest in cryptocurrency. You're probably going to lose all your money. Now, with Solana's only suffered a few major outages in the last year, and it has certainly helped that network, of course, put its best foot forward in that situation, because before it suffered quite a few more outages, a few on and off switch times, you know. But the great news is that Solana is still here, and for Solana holders, a lot has happened. But is it enough to restore investor trust? Well, it just might be. Let's talk about network activity. So you see, a few things have changed over the past year for Solana, but it wasn't until just this month that the network's total value locked began to rise, almost doubling over the last 30 days. Boom! Love it. The leaders in this recent rally have been Marinade Finance, Marinade, and Jito. Now, both platforms offer identical services through those sweet, sweet liquid staking tokens. Basically, you take your soul, you stake it with them, and then you can reuse that liquid staked token, do other things. I mean, the biggest use case right now for Solana is staking emissions, which is fine. Price of Solana doubling in the same time frame. Maybe the TVL measured in dollars may not be the absolute best measurement of change for the Solana network, taking us then down to the number of active addresses on Solana. It's here that we find growing activity on the network, more than doubling over the past few months. Now, this is, I think, a very important metric showing that the activity on Solana is really starting to pick up. People are really coming back to the chain, which is what you want to see for the price to go up. The same can be seen for the amount of value being moved on chain, showing a rise in both the daily and the monthly values. Again, great direction we're heading in. That, of course, can be contributed attributed to two major assets running on Solana. That's the sole token and the USDC stablecoin. Transfers USDC on the Solana network have reached an all-time high this month. Well, the market's still not in crazy bull mode, by the way. Currently sitting at over 70 billion with a B dollars in transfers, causing fees and revenues to rise to levels that were being generated 18 months ago, which is fascinating. It is the comeback kit of crypto right now. Solana has been able to capture, of course, a lot of fees collected, absorb those back into its revenue stream, which is a positive for the foundation. As stated by founder Anatoly in this year's annual Solana Breakpoint Conference, stable coins are big, big business for Solana due to their quick transaction settlements and low cost. I mean, stable coins on Solana are going to break the traditional banking structure. It's crazy. After a Bank of America analyst claimed Solana could be the visa of crypto last year, it's really time to start paying attention to that reality. Now, what about some big Solana projects? Well, some major changes for Solana are centered around a few key projects recently launched to help incentivize Solana usage, aka people hunting after airdrops. Pith Network, probably one of the best things to happen on Solana this year so far, except for the price going, Bleh! was pretty exciting. The Pith Network airdrop, did you claim yours, by the way? The Pith Network is Solana's answer to decentralized oracles, the chain link of Solana, if you will. Not quite, but kind of Oracle space, providing valuable infrastructure, of course, to support the growth of DeFi activity on the Solana network. Pith is the first real-time Oracle for Solana, providing the fastest and cheapest price feeds on the market. Pith is already connected to over 40 different freaking blockchains, providing data feeds to a growing list of almost 250 freaking applications. Not bad, Solana project. Aside from what Pith does on a technical level for Solana, it's done something else that's really never been seen. Pith is the first project to airdrop tokens on Solana as a reward for activity outside of the network, thus vampire attacking people from other networks coming to Solana. Before this happened, all of the airdrops happening on Solana rewards for activity on the Solana network itself. But the Pith token now setting a new bar by giving away tokens to users who have never even completed a single transaction on the Solana network before, effectively onboarding a ton of new users from other chains that would have had no reason to use Solana otherwise, except coming in here and claiming their tokens. Once you're there, once you get some free money, maybe you want to start playing around, maybe you want to do something. Next, let's talk about the Neon Ethereum Virtual Machine Solana. Ah, 
So it's also launched uh, this Neon EVM project to really great success, basically allowing Solana to launch an Ethereum virtual machine on the Solana network, allowing Solana thus to achieve true interoperability between Ethereum and EVM compatible chains, which is a huge proportion of them for the first time. Well, Neon is still early on in its development phase. It's already showing the real potential to really just push that door open for new options for Solana users. Now, initially, Neon launched with the ability to pay for transactions using the native Neon token. However, the project has recently changed this to actually include the use of Sol, USDC, and USDT to pay for transactions on the Neon Ethereum virtual machine. Pretty cool. The main net for Neon is expected to launch in the first quarter of 2024. Then we have Jaito. Hito, Hito, Jaito, I don't know how to say it. Jaito Network, the last project worth discussing here. Now, Jaito is a clone of uh, the Solana endorsed by Solana Labs. Jaito basically helps to increase the efficiency of the uh, Solana network by reducing spam, increasing the maximum extractable value for users. Now, the reason why liquid staking projects, so you take your soul, you stake it with them, they give you a, a proxy token. The reason why these projects like Jaito and uh, Marinade are so widely adopted is because they allow soul hoarders to earn a significantly increased return for staking, letting you take the liquid staking tokens that you receive and deposit them into other DeFi protocols, netting you maybe double or even triple the rewards in some cases that you'd get from simply just directly staking your soul to a validator in the Phantom Wallet, for example. Jito has announced that it will also soon launch a governance token, so that airdrop's coming very soon. Keep an eye out for that. Again, that's going to inject a ton of new money into the Solana ecosystem, bring more users into the Solana ecosystem, potentially turn Jito into the largest project on Solana. We shall see, of course. Snapshot for airdrop eligibility was taken on November 25th, so anybody that completed interactions with the protocol before this date are expected to get a big reward very soon. There you go. Two airdrops. If you have been a Solana user, go check it out. And with Pith, you didn't even have to use Solana. You just had to use Ethereum. You can learn more about how to get your Pith network airdrop or your Jito network airdrop by signing up for Wealth Mastery Newsletter, by the way. We talk about all this stuff all the time. The latest news on Solana. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening in the Solana ecosystem, Solana gems, Solana news, and everything else, we don't just talk about Solana farming airdrops, DeFi, technical analysis. Join our 90,000 weekly readers for free by signing up using the link down below. Now let's talk about tech. Let's talk about Fire Dancers, the most hyped upgrade for Solana in a long time. This is developed by Jump. Crypto, one of the biggest market makers in the space, Firedance will add an entirely new independent validator set for Solana, increasing network efficiency and the number of transactions per second to over 1 million, 1 million transactions per second, which, if proven to work, will by far turn Solana into the watcha fastest blockchain in town. Analysts have already begun taking note, of course, of these implications providing more bull juice, essentially, with the most recent report released by Masari. It calls for Fire Dancer to unlock a new Blue Ocean customer base if it can truly solve the scalability issue. Now, early tests have shown a 10 to 100x improvement over the Solana Labs validator, which is huge. Reaching up to 1.2 to 1.4 million transactions per second with small transaction sizes. Fire Dancer will solve the current bottleneck issue with Solana validators that have slowed the network down during times of increased activity. And it'll introduce support for sharding, allowing Solana to scale horizontally for the first time. Then you also have other stuff like the Token 22 project, which is set to bring enterprise friendly features to the Solana blockchain for the first time by introducing a regulated token standard. Now, this is going to allow for business focused transactions to occur on Solana within a regulated environment. There's a market for that, without a doubt. They'll be enabling additional metadata to be combined with transaction information. This new standard would also allow for completely private transactions to be able to take place on Solana. Game-changing stuff here, guys. Game-changing stuff. Now, this is all going to be rolling out 
in the near future. Hasn't rolled out quite yet, but coming soon to a Solana network near you. So keep an eye out. And of course, it's not just the tech and the network activity and all this other stuff, but recent partnerships. Grayscale Solana Trust, similar to what we discussed with Chainlink recently. So Grayscale has added the Solana Trust to its list of products aimed at institutional investors, allowing them to actually have a way to gain exposure to the growth of the Solana network without the need to buy any soul directly. Remember, some of these institutions can't even buy soul directly, so they have to go through these proxies, which is why they pay higher price. The overall performance of the trust is currently down and yet to match the product's objective according to Grayscale. The increase in activity for the trust, though, clearly shows that investors are still interested in Solana overall. And in that madness investors in the Solana trusts have found themselves paying a premium of wait for this 900% to the spot value so who is doing that why are they doing that I have no idea that's insanity anyway then we have Solana pay and Shopify so the decentralized peer-to-peer -peer payment system Solana pay officially integrated with Shopify this year this puts Solana front and center when it comes to Web3 payment integration, I mean, Shopify is huge, allowing Shopify users to create token specific products and NFT based loyalty programs. And of course, just accepting payments in USDC is in itself a massive, massive deal. Uh, Solana and Epic Games also, Solana has risen to become one of the most popular choices for non Ethereum game development, non Avalanche game development. I got non Paul. Okay, it's one of the top ones. Let's say, anyway, they joined up with Epic Games. Solana launched a total of five games to the Epic Store this year, which is epic, if you will, more than any other uh, blockchain so far. Well, most of these games are still in the early access phase. It does showcase Solana's ability to really launch these products directly to the gaming marketplace. I dig it. I dig it. That's cool. Now, what about the price of Solana? Of course, that's been the big thing on everyone's mind recently. And of course, the big question I want to know is what next for the price? I don't know. Will it keep going up in the long term? Probably. And while no one has a crystal ball, we've definitely been getting some great insights in the Wealth Mastery newsletter. Rec Capital has provided some incredible analysis right throughout the year for Solana. Check it out again. Free 90,000 readers a week. You're going to love it. Check it out. Link in the description. Anyway. Newsletter shilling aside, uh, look, Solana's gone crazy. It's gone up over $60 from like $8 earlier this year to like over 60 bucks. Crazy, crazy gains for a major coin like this. Now, if it keeps going, obviously, we start really just bringing people in. People get very excited. Price creates narrative. Price creates hype. Now, one cause, of course, of this continued price action has been attributed to really just a lot of increased buying activity on Coinbase as a result of a bullish report that was published by Van Eck Asset Managers, where they basically came out and cited a credible path to $8 billion in revenue for sole token holders and a price of, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. $3,200 per soul. What? That's crazy by 2030. Caveat. There's all, or in the downward note, there was $9. So, you know, somewhere in between $9 and 3200 Somewhere. Cool. <laughs> anyway, price predictions aside, truth is Salon is back. It is the comeback kid of this cycle. They are doing big, big things. And... There's been hiccups along the way. There's been drama along the way. There's been all kinds of craziness. And Solana's had a lot of challenges. But the team are builders. The team have showed without a doubt that they're here, that they are ready to lay down with big partnerships, big tech upgrades. And developers are starting to come back in. Users are starting to come back in. Time to pay attention to Solana, guys. <laughs>